Hey everyone, I'm here to present my modular for the masses, my favorite reverb module that I just finished, and I'll let you take a look at it and decide whether or not you want to build one too. So here it is. It's got two channels. They have uh, wet and dry adjusters, crossfaders, a clock adjustment speed, a out, which is the stereo, which you have volume right here. It has stereo out, two mono ins, and it has the clock speed uh, controllable by a control voltage with, of course, an attenuator. So let's check out some of the different. Um, the snare drum, I have my little Streets of Philadelphia beat going on. Um, 44 sounds like gated reverb. Alright, that's like a short delay. Okay, 44 through 46 are gated reverb, I think. Seven. Up in the 50s is ping pong. Some kind of phaser. So this has tails, which means if you feed sound into the effects module, inside here it'll go out without turning it down when you change the uh, crossfader back to dry. So let's should build one of these <laughs> okay I said favorite was in the low 60s I meant higher 60s maybe
build this module without the wet and dry faders. Uh, I encourage you not to do that because some of the effects just don't have any dry at all, like some of the reverb effects. So that's the snare drum. It sounds so much better with some of the dry added in. Um, some disclaimers. I do have to adjust the crossfading. The signal going into the effects module is too hot, so it'll clip sometimes. Let's see if I can uh, demonstrate that. necessarily use the one that I will update all right also the clock speed is too slow I'll have to adjust that by changing the value of the resistor going to the base of the transistor which is the part that sets the clock speed all right cool thanks for watching oh there's gonna be another video if you find this video uh, on my channel I'll release it very soon and that's how to build this you can do it point to point no circuit boards very cheaply this thing literally cost me probably $30 if you count the module itself for 20 each of the potentiometers at 20 cents and each of the jacks about 20 cents and some of the resistors and stuff like that inside super cheap probably not $30 is what I spent but uh, anyway really cheap so yeah there you go guys